In this screencast, you will need your completed journal entry titled Hand Anatomy Joints. We'll review the information on this slip, but you're also going to collect new information on the left side of your journal. So title it Screencast Info again. You're also going to need to get a video ready to watch during the screencast. I need you to open a new tab and navigate to your teacher's web page. Find the video link titled Cartilage Explained. Don't watch it yet, just have it ready to go. Pause the screencast now. Okay, let's get started. Here's the page in the booklet that was talking about joints. But what is a joint? That was your question number one. Well, in really simple terms, a joint is a place where two bones meet to create movement. It's actually the space between two bones, and that makes them part of the skeletal system. That was your question number two. You have joints all over your body. One place you can easily see them is in your fingers. Take your pointer finger and hold it at eye level. Now bend it. Come on, bend it. You can see the three phalange bones moving. And the reason these bones can move is because of little hinge joints in between the bones. It's like a door hinge. It only allows you to move your fingers in one direction. Sounds like that's the answer to number three. But there are other joints in your hand. Get ready. New information is coming your way for the left side of your journal. Remember those eight small bones in the wrist? Those bones are connected and can glide past one another for side-to-side -side motion, or the bones can glide past one another for front-to-back motion. So we call these joints gliding joints. So creative, I know. But bone moving past bone sounds painful, right? Would be, but luckily the space between the bones is cushioned with a tissue called cartilage. We need cartilage to allow for smooth movements. Yeah, question number four. And if you didn't have it, there would be painful movements. Sure. Let's watch that short video clip now that you have ready and waiting in your open tab because you probably still have questions. You'll want to take down some new notes on the left side of your journal. Feel free to pause the video at any time. So pause this screencast and watch that video, Cartilage Explained. When you build your prosthetic, you will want your fingers to open and close smoothly. You don't want motions that are jerky. You want nice, fluid movements that look like the real hand operating. So you need to think about materials that can act like cartilage. You also need to think about where joints will be located because everywhere there is a joint, movement will occur. Look what you wrote for applying information. Really think about how you can incorporate information related to joints and cartilage. That's it for now.